Yo people, welcome back to another video on KGP TV and today your boy is going to be talking about the Ballon d'Or as you saw last night, Messi won the Ballon d'Or, Haaland won player of the year or striker of the year, whatever it was and Jude won young player of the year. First of all, first of all congratulations to all three. For winning those three awards is amazing. And obviously, shout out Vinicius for winning the, I think it was the Socrates reward. And him speaking about Black Lives Matter, about racism in football was very nice. Although it was in Brazilian, I could tell that he was saying the right things. You feel me? I shout out Drogba for doing the translation. Now, obviously, young player, I feel like everyone knew Jude was going to win. But knowing the Ballon d'Or, I was shocked that Gavi never won it again. Or that Predri got it. You feel me? But Jude deserved it. Obviously, it was because of his performance at Dortmund. Not at Real Madrid. But for me, either way, he could have won it at, at either club. You feel me? Because Jude, quality young player. You know, what he's doing at Real Madrid right now. 13 games, 13 goals, 3 assists. Scoring 2 goals in his first El Clasico away from home his first goal was a banger his second goal was him being a fox in the box pouncing that's what he does and do you know what's crazy Real Madrid, it, Real Madrid didn't even sign you to be a shooter to be a striker to be a goal scorer Jude was supposed to be a midfielder you know just doing what a midfielder does you know pass all of that stuff but because Real Madrid don't have a striker Jude said you know what for me to make my name, for me to make my status here, I'ma become the shooter. And he's doing that. 13 games, 13 goals, 3 assists. Man, them cannot tell me that Jude's not on smoke this season. Jude's, hey, Jude right now, no one's better than Jude right now. I don't care. I don't care how many goals Harden's got in the Prem right now. Jude's doing it at Real Madrid. There's pressure. And you know Real Madrid fans... When they say it's time to bounce, it's time to bounce. But when they love you, they love you for real. And what Jude's doing right now, I hope Jude carries on doing it at Real Madrid. But don't do it too much because I need my team to do well in the champs. And if we come against you, man, you know, I need you to have a bad game. You feel me? I'm sorry, Jude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it was nice to see Mr. Yala send a nice message to Jude because they were bedrooms back in the England camp, you know, a long time ago. So it was, you get me, seeing Jude win it was nice to see him, man, you get me, because an England player hasn't won nothing like that in a very long time, you feel me? So seeing Jude win it was nice. I don't know about the trousers, my bro, the trousers you wear, wearing were a little bit, you feel me, but it's all right, it's all right. Hey, we'll let you get away with that one, you get me, because you're having a mad season right now, you feel me? Hey, honestly... Do you know what I'm going to say, though? I don't know why certain players go to the, to the Ballon d'Or award ceremony. Like, Mbappe went. He didn't win nothing. Like, do players get paid when they go there? Because surely they get paid. Or if, or if I'm Mbappe, I'm thinking, why the hell did I come all this way? Although it was in France and I live in France, but why did I come here when I ain't winning the night? That's why I'll say to myself, don't tell me Saka went there. Please don't tell me Saka went there. But luckily Saka never went. If Saka went to the Ballon d'Or out, bro, I would have told Saka, get your ass back in London. Ballon d'Or. You know you, you know you ain't winning the night. You get me? You're black and you're English, boy. They're not all together. Although Jew won something, but you know, Jew's skin colour, Saka skin, it's completely different, you feel me? But yeah, man, seeing Jews win it was happy. But this is where it gets a little bit technical. Because I believe Harden should have won the Ballon d'Or, you know. A lot of little sucky, sucky, sucky Messi fans are going to say Messi deserved to win it. But this is my thing. I hear what Messi done. In, in the World Cup was incredible, you know. He carried Argentina. I hear that. You get me? The Argentina fans were on his back. 
But he done that in the World Cup. I know the World Cup is bigger than the Prem, than the champs. But Haaland done that in more games. City haven't won the Champions League. Haaland goes there. He wins the champs. He wins the treble. He breaks every single goal scorer record in his first season in the Premier League. And you actually like people went doubt in Haaland. No one, no one thought Haaland would do this in his first season. And I thought that to have such a good first season like that and not win the Ballon d'Or, honestly, that, that would piss me off too. But Haaland's better than me. You get me? I probably would have said, no, fuck this, I'm done. I'm walking out. Haaland's better than me. What? What? Me scoring all of those goals and I get player of the year. Are you mad? Give me the Ballon d'Or. You get me? My teammate won nothing. My teammate won the Champions League before. I come in, they win champs. I know I didn't score in none of the finals. I hear it. But look what I done. Look what I done. You get me? But I'm going to have the Messi sucky sucky fans. Uh, look what Messi done in the World Cup. Messi carried this Messi carried this national team blood. I don't care. Honestly, I'm bored. I'm bored of Messi always winning the Ballon d'Or. Let someone else win it for once, man. Come on, switch it up. Feel me? Switch it up. I don't know why Mbappe was looking depressed too. I'm sorry, Mbappe. But you know you weren't not. You know you wasn't winning that. So why are you showing up for? It just don't make sense. Stay at your yard, bring a gal over. Go into the woods, everyone, it was a waste of time. You feel me? It was a waste of time, bro. Because you knew you weren't winning that. I knew you wasn't winning that. The world knew you weren't winning that. The people at the ceremony were probably thinking, why is Mbappe here? Because he knows he's not winning nothing. Should have just went yard. Go yard. You get me? Catch a flight, do something. This is the Eiffel Tower. Eat some snails. I know you French people love them things there, man. Come on now. You feel me? But for me, Harlan should have won the Ballon d'Or. But at least he got an award. You feel me? At least he got an award. Play of the year. You get me? At least he wasn't like Lemodowski. When Lemodowski had the Ballon d'Or cancelled on him. I mean, really and truthfully, he should have won it. But they cancelled it because of COVID, which was peak. Because he bossed out that season. That was peak. I don't care. That was peak. But the main man, the Argentina man, Messi winning the Ballon d'Or, that's the eighth time, blood. That's the eighth time. Although Messi's not my GOAT, Ronaldo's my GOAT. Get me CR7. No one can't chat to Messi. Winning eight Ballon d'Ors. Even when, bro, bro, even when Messi's not supposed to win it, he wins it. Messi's thinking, how did I win it again? <laughs> how did I win it again? Harley had a better season than me. How did I win it again? <laughs> but that's his message for you, you feel me? Like, Messi's quality. And what he did at the World Cup was quality. What he done at the World Cup was amazing. It was. It was amazing. It was. It was quality. It was crazy. But for me, Harlan still wouldn't have won it, but I but I ain't gonna take nothing away from Messi. You know what I'm saying? His country. He had bro, he had his country on his back. But I feel like people are not talking about Martinez, the goalkeeper who won goalkeeper of the year. The penalty save that he had to make was the reason why Argentina got where they got. Messi were Messi was getting the goal shipping in, but if Martinez wasn't making them saves, Argentina would have named it. Would have never made it that far. I gotta be real. I gotta be real. I gotta be real. You feel me? But boy, winning eight Ballon d'Ors, that bro, no player will pass that. Winning eight Ballon d'Ors is crazy. You get what I mean? So you, so you just gotta give props to Messi. You feel me? You just gotta give props to Messi. You know, Speed went to the Ballon d'Or ceremony. I don't think he's going to get invited again because my man's reaction to the Ballon d'Or ceremony was... <laughs> to Messi, wouldn't really, it? was funny. <laughs> Man's all shouting, Messi! Messi! How? Not Ronaldo! Come on, bro. Be serious. Ronaldo was never going to win that. Although Ronaldo is my goal. He, he was never going to win the Ballon d'Or this season. You feel me? But, hey. 
you know, City won team of the year, men team of the year, twice in a row. That's what City do, man. But, hey, that's Ballon d'Or talk done. But let me talk about something else, yeah? Because, you know, you see what's going on with Ten Hag and Sancho right now. And I, and I just want to give my take. I'm seeing a couple of YouTubers back in Ten Hag saying Ten Hag's completely right over this Sancho situation. Sancho don't have a leg to stand on. I'm thinking, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Instead of you just saying this, why don't you just say that you're a pussy -o? Why don't you just say that you're a dickhead for back in Ten Hag? If you're back in Ten Hag over Sancho, just say that you're a pussy -o. Just say that you're a dickhead. Please. What? Blood. Sancho had every right to respond back to Ten Hag. Bro, mind you, Sancho wasn't playing against Arsenal. Sancho wasn't in the first team. Sancho wasn't on the bench. Sancho wasn't in the squad. For Ten Hag to call out Sancho for no reason. Sancho, bro, Sancho had a point to say to Ten Hag, hold on, big man. Why are you calling me out on TV? Because people have to remember. Most of men, bro, people have to remember. People have to remember. Most of Man United's fan base do not rate Sancho already. They don't rate him already. So for then, Ten Hag to say Sancho wasn't training properly, it's like, rah, like, you know most of the fan base don't really like me already. So, you, so you're then just going to violate me on TV in an interview saying I wasn't in the team because I wasn't training properly. Get me? I'm not saying I'm with Sancho. Get me? I know I don't have no evidence that Sancho was trainer properly. But from the evidence that everyone's given, I'm more in the right. Because you're seeing Anthony play. Blood, you're telling me Anthony's playing better in training than Sancho. Are you mad? Are you mad? Even if he is training better than Sancho, I know he's not showing it on the pitch. Because look at Man United right now. Sancho scored one goal. He's the only he, he's the only forward in Man United's team to score one goal. And you're telling me Sancho's not training properly. Sancho can't get in the team. Blood. So here's what I'm saying. To the people who are saying 10 hogs right. So you're telling me. If you're sitting down at yard one day. And you see your manager or your boss. Just call you out on social media. Or just call you out in general. For no reason. You're just going to sit on your ass and not say nothing. Or are you not going to respond back. Because if you're just going to sit on your ass. Say no more. Sit on your ass. Do your thing. But me I'm going to respond back. I'm going to say wait wait hold on. Hold on. You're just going to out me like this. For no reason. That's, bro, that's what I'm saying. For the people who are back in Ten Hag over Sancho, to see that you're a pussy, yo, it's all right. To see that you're a dickhead, it's all right. To see that you, just see that you will let your manager call you out on social media for no reason and you will take it. To see that. To see it, it's all right. No one's not going to hurt you. Everyone's just going to look at you and say you're a pussy, yo. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Feel me. There's nothing wrong with that. You get me? Everyone is just going to look at you and say, I could call you out on social media and you won't do nothing. Feel me? Like, I don't even support Man United. You get me? But seeing most of these football YouTubers say 10 targets in the right, I'm like, you man are jokers. You man are bonkers. What? Because you man want to trust in 10 hogs so much, you man can't admit that 10 hog was a dickhead for calling out Sancho. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy how people are saying Sancho's in the wrong. But Ten Hag's not in the wrong because Ten Hag did start it. Ten Hag called out Sancho first. Can Sancho just responded. Because that's what Sancho has to do. But for me, I don't know where Sancho's even at, man, United. This, bro, this is where Sancho's agent's got it wrong. If I'm Sancho's agent, I'm looking at if, bro, if I'm Sancho, I'm looking at my agents and saying, why did you man not do your research properly? You man brought me into this mess. 
You feel what I'm saying? If I'm Santos Asians, I'm saying I need to get you out of this club. You feel me? If I'm Santos Asian, I'm saying to Sancho, we need to get you out of here. Because what's Rats for one since being there? What's Bruno one since being there? A Carroll Cup, we need to get you out of here. We're trying to build your career. We're not trying to downgrade it. We're trying to build you up. You feel me? But that's my take on it, honestly, bro. Honestly. Like, for real, bro. Even with Bruno Fernandes. Like, people say Bruno Fernandes is a quality player. People say Bruno Fernandes is so sick. It's how I know you, man, don't watch football. You're just looking at his stats and saying, nah, this guy's cold. But fans are so quick to say, Odegaard doesn't do nothing in a big game. What does Bruno Fernandes do in a big game? What does he do? What does Bruno Fernandes do in a big game? I'm sitting there thinking, look at Saka, look at my boy Saka. Saka does more than Bruno. But I'm seeing a fan violate Saka. Saying, ah, look where he's finishing the Ballon d'Or. Where's your star player? Where's your star boy? He wasn't involved in the Ballon d'Or. Why? Because he weren't good. You feel me? People say Rashford's better than Saka. Bro, I'm thinking you man don't watch ball. You might clearly don't watch ball. Because if you might know, Rashford always has a patch where he plays well. But overall, Rashford's not better than Saka. And for me, why is that even a conversation? Rashford's like 26 or something. Rashford should be in his prime right now. Saka is more consistent than Rashford. Way more consistent than Rashford. What, Rashford got how many goals in the Prem? What, 16 goals last season or something? Ha, oh, Rashford's quality, Rashford's world class all of a sudden. Fuck yourself. No way. No way. No way. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. You feel me? It's my mad. Rashford better than Saka. It's my mad. No. 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 No! No! That's all I've got to say though, man. I, I just want to give my thoughts on the Ballon d'Or. And on the Man United situation. That's all I want to say, man. This thing is fire. <sighs> it's been your boy, KGP TV. I'm out.